Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some problems with your AirPods if for some reason they just keep disconnecting from your device. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but most prominently a newer reason that just came up is something that I'll probably talk about in like two seconds. But I'm going to break this down into specific AirPod issues and specific device issues. So if you're connecting it to your Android, Mac, iPhone, whatever, I'll go ahead and talk about those in a second. But there can be a lot of issues with your AirPods themselves. So the very first thing I would recommend doing is making sure that your AirPods are charged up fully. As long as you can see this green light on the front, then you know it's not a battery issue. Most times, whether people realize it or not, your AirPods can be super faulty or have a ton of problems just based off the battery life. And you may even see this green light right here and see, oh, like my batteries are charged and everything. But some people don't even realize that their connection ports of their AirPods are really where the most of the important charging happens. Your case charging is fine, but if these AirPods aren't charging or if these are malfunctioning, sometimes it can be because the charging ports at the bottom aren't really connecting to the bottom of these AirPods. So if these things aren't charged, these things are gonna disconnect all the time. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a cotton swab, some sort of material like that, and all you wanna do is go ahead and put that cotton swab in here, rub it around a couple times, and take out all that gunk, all that dirt and debris that's stuck within these holes, and and then you also want to take the same type of thing or same cotton swab you can do use a different different one and clean out the bottom of these ones as well once these are all cleaned out all you want to do is connect them back in just like so and you want to do the same thing for the other side as well but as long as these things are getting a charge and these things are getting a charge and these ports aren't being covered up then most probably as of this point as long as you can verify that your airpods are turning on and they're turning on like this then you can probably rule out the situation of your airpods malfunctioning this can be more so a device specific issue on your phone but as long as you can kind of see that the airpods as long as you didn't drop them recently or crack them or whatever then these should be you know probably working out fine so now we want to move on to our devices and verify that those things are working properly because if these things turn on and they're working fine, then it's probably our devices. And the first thing you want to do is verify your Bluetooth connection. So I just want to go into my Bluetooth settings right here, go into Bluetooth, and you just want to verify that your AirPods are being able to be seen from your device. So as you can see, I'm able to connect users AirPods, those are my AirPods. And as long as you're able to see your AirPods here and you're able to connect to them at least like one time, then you're pretty much set and you're good to go. Now, you may be seeing yourself if you just recently updated your device or if you updated a while ago on either your iPhone, Mac, and maybe on Android as well, some devices do support multi-device for your AirPods. And this is like the new little thing that came up. So if you just connected your set of AirPods to your iPhone and your Mac, well, they may be synced up with your iCloud account. So if you're using your iPhone and you're trying to listen to music from there, but then you switch over to your Mac and your Mac is also connected to your AirPods, well, they may disconnect from your iPhone and connect to your Mac when you're using it, whether you realize it or not. So there are, there are people out there who still listen to music on their iPhone when they're connecting to their Mac and using it. So that's another big thing. You may want to go into your settings and disable it from your specific device. So if you don't want to use it on your Mac, I'd recommend removing it from your Mac and then only using it on your iPhone and then kind of switching back and forth. That's the very first thing I'd recommend in that specific case. After I would recommend checking your Bluetooth connections and making sure your AirPods are connected. Now, if that doesn't end up working, there may be an issue with your software version that you're on. And this happens all the time. So what I would recommend doing, whether you're on a Mac, an iPhone, an Android, is updating your software to the most recent version that you can. So go into your general settings, go into software update here if you're on an iPhone, and verify that you're on a more recent version of iOS. If you're on an Android, do the same thing on your device, a Mac, or a Windows, whatever. You want to be on the most recent version of software that you can possibly you know, be on. And then at that point, if it's still not working, what I would recommend doing, and this is the easiest thing you can do, is pretty much reconnecting your AirPods to your you know, specific device. So in order to reconnect your AirPods to your iPhone, or any device for that matter, all you want to do is pretty much locate on the back of your AirPods. You want to go ahead and flip it to the back. You basically just want to flip this up too. As long as you have a charger, you can see the green light. All you want to do is hold down this button on the back of your AirPods. Sometimes if you just open up the flap, you will be able to see the AirPods here. But let's say we don't see that. What we want to do is we want to hold down this button on the back of our AirPods until we can actually see this white light in the front that's blinking. If you have the older pairs of AirPods, the light's in here. If you have your AirPods Max or AirPods Pros, they're like almost in the same position. So what you want to do is hold down that specific button until this white light is blinking like this. If you have an iPhone, now as you can see it went back, so you need to hold it down for a second. 
and then give it a, as you can see it's blinking and if you kind of hold it next to an iPhone you'll pretty much get a little pop up on this device it may take a second or two and it's funny because it's still connected here so what I'm going to do is go into my settings like this Bluetooth settings right here and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing so go and hold down that button right there until you get a white blinking light and just for the sake of this I'm going to forget this device on my iPhone just so I'm making this easier so do the same thing hold down this button right here and as you can see you will get this little pop-up that says not your airpods and if you have an android device you'll pretty much connect them from this little area but if you don't you know you can go and hold it down like this you'll get this little pop-up again and as you can see i can go and just connect them just like this and they'll go ahead and connect just like regular airpods and as you can see they are connected so that's sometimes all you have to do in order to fix this issue like i said there's a couple different ways of going about it but that's pretty much how to fix your airpods if they're disconnecting and how to reconnect your airpods if they're disconnecting so that's pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really discount so it means so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then